November is National Home Care and Hospice Week, and with so many visiting their aging parents and grandparents during the holidays, Christus Care at Home is providing resources to families looking for help. We have got Jennifer along with Candace and Ripley to tell us all about it, and it really is uh, kind of the time of year to start talking to people about home care and hospice. What does Christus do for the community? Okay, well, hospice comes in when a patient is terminally ill and they no longer want to seek aggressive treatment or treatment is no longer an option. Okay. And we provide, we have two medical directors, we have a team of nurses, a team of CNAs, volunteers, a um, social worker, and a chaplain. So we provide a team approach to taking care of the patient, but not only the patient, but we also take care of the family. We teach them how to cope and uh, take care of their loved one when they're going through difficult times. And some of that means taking care of yourself too and not not forgetting about yourself when you're going through this difficult time. Right. Do you help families as they're beginning this process and maybe having those conversations about seeking this type of care? Right, right. We do those type of consultations all the time. And it's good for somebody to come in early versus late, and that's when we can help. And me personally, I lost my mom when I was 15, so I didn't get to have that chance to go through that process with her. So for me, it's personal because I'm helping somebody do something that I wish I could have done for my mom. Well, I'm certainly sorry to hear about your loss, especially yeah. at the age of 15, but it yeah. really gives you a great insight into helping other people cope right. as they're going through this. Right, right. All right. I understand that there's a Five Wishes resource. Can you tell us what that is? Yes. I have uh, actually what we're doing, and this is National Home Care and Hospice Month. So what we're doing is uh, we're providing lunch quarterly for the um, community at Cousins Restaurant starting November Tuesday, November the 29th, from 11 to 1. And what we're trying to do is educate. It is so important that you know what home care and hospice does. And with the five wishes, this is going to be our first educational class. And what it basically says is the person I want to make care decisions for me when I can't. Uh, the kind of medical treatment I want or don't want. These five wishes, and we're going to discuss it in detail uh, for the free lunch. And we are providing free gumbo salad and a dessert at Cousins. Who doesn't want to eat at Cousins, right? Oh, he'll do anything for <laughs> a great meal. I know, right? Right? here's Louisiana, right. especially in Lake Charles, right? That's right. But this so, is really about, b before you get to those stages, before it's too late to make those decisions for yourself, this is going to help your family know exactly what your wishes are. Right. Correct. Right. Right. Um, it ensures if the doctor, if um, he'll know what their wishes needs to be and ensure that those last wishes are carried out for those patients and for that person. Good information to provide out there for the community. It's free to attend, but do people need to register beforehand? Yes, they do. And um, we have an RSVP to 337-404-6456. Um, and again, it's Tuesday, November 29th, 11 to 1, at Cousins Restaurant. And it is limited, seat, limited seating. But please, come out. You'd be surprised at how many of my friends have called and just didn't know enough information about home care or hospice services. So, you know, let us provide those, you know, for the community. And at the same time, have a little bit of food. You know, we share food when, <laughs> we, uh, when we need to do anything that's great, huh? All right. All right. It's going to be a great event. We encourage everybody to get out there and have these conversations with Krista's Home Care. And if you need that number again, just give us a call here at the station. We'd be happy to pass it along. Thank you, ladies, for coming on and talking to us about it. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.